everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new this is going to be another great video we are diving deep into my fall collection so i'm going to be showing you guys older items newer items i've downsized a lot but there's a lot of stuff so we're just going to jump right in and get started so i kind of section everything off into categories just to um, be more organized and to help you guys so we're gonna start off with pumpkins we can definitely say I have a little bit of a pumpkin problem so let's jump right into my pumpkin collection so I have quite a few pumpkins from Michael Michaels Michael Michaels um, this kind of colorway this brown colorway and look at all these divots and dimples I just really love this pumpkin um, I have it in a few white variations and that's um, I use those outside but I love this one this is kind of and the shirt color shirt that I'm wearing are kind of the colors that I go for with pops of white and maybe a little bit of gray so love this pumpkin from michaels i've had mine a few years but they have them year after year after year another pumpkin variation i love um, besides the foam pumpkins i love me some velvet pumpkins so i don't include a lot of color maybe in my um fall decor um i have burnt orange white browns and like wicker color but i do include textures i feel like texture warms up your home warms up your environment and the word today is going to be cozy just like my shirt says find me where all the cozy things are so how cozy is this pumpkin these i actually picked up from um california when we were um, you guys know i moved to our texas home about a year ago so this will actually be my second year decorating our new home for fall we moved in right before i fall season so i had like getting my neutral stuff together and then i threw out fall stuff um, but I have a few of these in different sizes. I love the stem on these. And I got these from Albertsons, the grocery store in California. They had a ton and I bought, I feel like all of them. So I have this color, love this burnt orange color in different sizes, even little small ones. How cute are those? These are actually place card holders, but I use them for just like styling uh, my mantle or around the house, but love those. And then like I said, I did give them, get them in white. So we have this white one with that stem and then I have a gray one. But yes, I love these soft cushiony pumpkins. Um, you could probably use them on the be a bed too, just to decorate it. This stem probably wouldn't be very comfortable to sleep on, but as a little bit of decoration since they're so cozy and plush they would look really cute on a bed so have a bunch of those and then another pumpkin category that I have I love me some texture so I have um, some wicker pumpkins I have these ones a few of these these are from Target I saw at home goods they bring these back they have like a bunch at home goods this year I got these a year or two ago but I have a few of these and I just love the texture and warmth they provide I have a few burlap pumpkins and I've had these for a while from you guys won't guess the dollar store um, so cute so easy and then these are very inexpensive so the dollar store you may want to check there too they always bring back some variation of a textured um, or burlap pumpkin and then i have a collection of different ceramic pumpkins i have these ones um this is from michael so a nice ceramic pumpkin i love the little brown stem I have these ceramic pumpkins in two colorways. These ones are from the Target dollar spot a few years ago. Target always brings back some variation of a ceramic pumpkin each year and then some variation of a velvet pumpkin each year. So you guys want to make sure that you're checking out there. So have a few of these. 
And then, like I said, at Target, I have a few velvet pumpkins from there. And they're always a really good price. I wanna say $3. Um, their stem is plastic. These stems are like a metal, and I think they look more realistic, but these are not bad, especially for the price. I'm, I paid kind of a pretty penny for these ones, but I've used them year after year, and they just last, and they're really good quality. And then I do have one foam pumpkin. Um, I have one of these. And then Hobby Lobby is has just about every pumpkin. I went there to do a um, shop with me, and they have so many pumpkins, guys. So I have an array of white pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. These usually come in a pack. Um, currently, Hobby Lobby's fall is 40% off, but the prices will go down and vary. The pumpkins that I actually got from um, these ones I got last year. Um, they have a ton of these styles at Home Goods, but I love this one. It has a little wood for the tip, and it's striped, and it is a fabric materi material. It just adds a different texture. I even love the little piece hanging off of it. It's just really cute. And then I have this little fuzzy one. So um, Home Goods uh, always has great deals on pumpkins like these, and I just love that they, I usually style them together. Um, I don't know if I'll do that this year, but they're alike but different. And mixing patterns, you guys know, is all the rage. And I have a lot of stripes throughout our home, and I like to spread it out so everything kind of comes together and is connected. So love these some more tiny little ceramic pumpkins. Like I said, check out the Dollar Tree. These are from the Dollar Tree from years, years ago. And they've been good quality and I've used them year after year after year. So not a ton of pumpkins I have from the Dollar Tree, but the ones that I have have stood the test of time and lasted. So probably if you're gonna get them from there, I would go with the ceramic because those are usually thick and great quality. And then the burlap has actually been really good and lasted me a long time. And this is one of those other white ones that I talked about earlier, and these ones are from Michaels. Um, my favorite, and they're kind of more of a jack-o'-lantern style, but I got these from Michaels years ago, and I use them indoors, I use them outdoors, and I just love them. And you put a little candle in them, and these have stood the test of time for me. I've had them for a very long time, and I always, I include them in my fall decor just because the coloring, but how pretty with a little light, and um, just a little glow at night. Okay guys, so let's talk throw pillows. First one is um, this pillow. This is a new find this year, and this is from Walmart. It was under $15. I love it. I love the little leather texture. I have little leather textures throughout our home, and I just love it. It's so cozy. It came with a really good insert, and it is under $15, so. Love, love, love this lumber pillow, and I think we're gonna use it in our master bedroom on our bed, just styled just so simply for the fall season. Um, another staple, I have these fuzzy, cozy pillows, and I like to add these throughout our home. Um, I often will use them for fall time and for Christmas. For fall, I think of like textures, leather, um, like fuzzy fur or burlap, just different textures, I feel like really give your home that warm feeling. So love these white pillows. Um, we'll probably style them somewhere in the living room for this fall season. And then to get into more theme pillows, so those are really basic and you can use them different times of year. But I have this pillow cover that I picked up from Amazon. It says, hello, 
pumpkin and it has a pumpkin in like that gray tone love this love the simplicity of it the back is um, plain and you can just pair it with any of your inserts or if you have a pillow that you want to style differently you can pair it with that as well my last one is this pillow and they have this at pottery barn and various stores um, you can get it from home goods i got mine from home goods um, so it's a Pottery Barn dupe, but I got it for a really affordable price and it's just so cute. I love the Sherpa. I love the coloring to it. It gives that nice dimension. I love the stem wrapped in like that rope detail. Just love everything about it. And it goes so cute with our aesthetic and our home. Um, okay, now we're going to move on to florals. So first thing we're going to start with is vase fillers. I picked up a new one this year. It is this vase filler. Like I said before, Hobby Lobby's fall is 40% off. This was only $5.99 and then it had the 40% off. Um, love this because it has like miniature acorns or pine cones in it and also miniature pumpkins. So, so cute, so simple. Not sure where I'm going to use this, um, but I do have a few glass vessels and I thought this would be great filler for those. So, love this. And then next, I have more vase filler. I've had this one for quite some time. I just keep it in a little Ziploc bag when I store it in my bins. But this one has huge pine cones, um, some balls in there, and then these miniature pumpkins. And I have a few ideas of some vessels that I could use this in, like a few fall bowls and things like that. So I'm excited to spread this out and have it throughout our home. Um, next, we have a few picks. So even though it is fall time, I still like greenery picks. This one I picked up from Target. It is just, it has still that green into it, but it also is bringing in some of those other tones. Like it has a little bit of yellow, a little bit of brown. So love this, super affordable from the Target Dollar Spot. Then I have um, these, which are from Walmart, and these are little bushes. I'm not sure the name of the flower, but I have them in this variation and also in the white, and I just love the way they look. Also, the leaves, the leaves are that green, not bright, bright green, but a little bit of muted green. I still like green throughout my home, even though it's fall time. Like, I need some freshness, a little bit of bright color. Um, so I still love incorporating green even in the fall time. Another pick, this one, I have a few of these and these are also from the Target Dollar Spot. So just a simple pick. And then I have these from Walmart. They are berry picks and I love them. So I love these. I love the wheat color that they are and how precious and sweet. Still have those leaves, so it has a mix of green and brown. So perfect for the fall season. And then I have the flowers. And they're in white, green leaves, like I said, like I like. But just very nice, just cute. I'm not sure are these like mums. I guess I would have to look them up, but love these really cute from walmart walmart does have some good picks and they're always a really really good price so um last but not least we do have these leaves not sure where i will use them um i saw a really cool effect on someone's wall where they have the leaves going up so i have a few ideas bouncing around in my head but these were a pack that i picked up from hobby lobby so really inexpensive um i can use them for different things i can use them for my tablescape but you guys know i do love the burlap and I just love the colorway and everything on these. So love, love those. Um, I fibbed one last thing. These I have in floral um, because they're little picks. So I could even stick them in a 
the garland that I'm gonna I'm gonna try to like do something different last year I, my mantle came out so cute that I'm gonna try to stretch myself and try something different but I have these little picks and they are just these little um, has like a stick for the stem and then I don't know what material the pumpkins are but they're so cute and I have quite a few of these and I think they would be really cute in either a floral arrangement or me doing something fun on my mantle. So that is it with florals. I have a ton more but they're kind of repeat. Um, but let's go to like kitchenware and glassware next. Okay guys, let's talk kitchenware for fall. So I do have these mugs. I have two of them and they are from Aldi. Um, I love them. They were really affordable. I love the color of the um, handle. It kind of reminds me of like the pumpkin stem, but I just love that they look hand painted and just really pretty and I love, love, love the color. My favorite um, kitchen towels, I picked up another two pack of these. I may go, go get another pack because I used to have like kitchen towels that we didn't use that were just for decor and I stopped doing that when we moved into this house. Like if I'm gonna have a towel out there, we're gonna use it. Okay, I take it back. I do have one on a blank uh, towel ladder that we don't use. But these ones, I like them because I want towels that I can use. These are absorbent and I just love the simple gray, gray and white stripe and they're just really pretty and from Target you get a two pack for just $6.99. So love these, use them every day, all the time. We also have a few cutting boards. So for fall hosting, I have this one. Um, this was from my, that local grocery store I told you back in California, Albertsons. So it's a pretty big size. Um, I love styling it in my kitchen, but then I also use it if I'm hosting. Love it. And then this is a smaller one. I've had this one for quite some time. It's from the Target Dollar Spot a few years ago, and it's just really cute. I love the different variations of the wood and the cute little stem. I have these bowls that I picked up from Home Goods. Um, I wanna say last year or the year before. I'll give you a, a close, close view. Um, I think I picked these up last year. So very cute, simple, but um, festive for the season. I think I did a tablescape with these last year. I may do that same thing or style them somewhere in my kitchen or in my um, hutch cabinet. I have this little piece. So you can put, um, this is from Target. Um, you can put just different things in here. It's labeled as a soup bowl. It's from the Threshold brand, but I don't think I've ever used it as a soup bowl. I think I, I've had it for a couple years now. I use it as home decor every time. So I oftentimes will put a little plant in there and then just style the lid kind of off of there. Should have included it in when I did florals, but it is this wreath. This wreath is from, um, the Studio McGee line last year. Love it. This cute little mini wreath. Um, I often style it. You can do it like this or you can style it down. I often style it down um, like with a candle in the middle. This candle I picked up this year. It smells so good. This candle is from um, Michael's this year and they were only $9.99 guys. Um, it's pumpkin vanilla latte, and they have all different kinds, um, different colors. I just loved this colorway, and then I also loved the wood top packaging, and then the smell. If you guys had smell a vision, it just smells really good. So three wick candles, three wick candles at Michael's for only $9.99. Okay, next we have this little vase I picked up from Home Goods. 
not home goods hobby lobby this year um i just love it it's ceramic it's pretty and i'm gonna use those florals that i have to make a pretty um floral arrangement inside of here okay i have a few signs and then we'll get to more like candle scented stuff because i feel like i have so i used to have way more signs but i've hair down so much. I only have very few now. I have this one that says give thanks. I just love the coloring of it. I love the metal. I have little galvanized metal um, throughout my home. So love this one. Really pretty, really simple. This is from Michael's. And then I have this little one. This one is from Walmart. They always come out with really cute signs. I checked out Walmart this year. They had some cute signs as well. So this little one, a nice little pop of um, orange for you guys. And then this is one of my favorite signs. It says fall in love. This one was from Michaels as well. I love the gray color. Um, I love the little galvanized top there. I just think it's really pretty and it was from Michaels and I've had this for a few years and I use it throughout my decor every year. And then let's talk about, um, I did pick up ribbon. Um, I have this ribbon here. I don't know if I, I think I'm gonna use it. I have a wreath that I have in my front entryway on a mirror so i may use it on that just to give it a little fall touch um it's like a green wreath but like i told you guys i still like to include green color like i don't just change out all my florals and make them super muted i do enjoy that green color still in the fall and even the winter months so love this from Hobby Lobby, really affordable, $5.99 with 40% off. Okay guys, the next item is this fall banner, but I gotta tell you guys about it. So I ordered it from Amazon. It was like a really good price. I wanna say maybe under $10. It actually said happy fall, but I took off the happy. Um, this year I think it's gonna be my year of banners. I have a banner above me that says um, bloom and I've had that up all like summer long. Love it, really cute. But um, this one came and it says fall. It did come with a little, it said happy fall, but I took off the happy. It did come with a little pumpkin, but if you can see the pumpkin came this color and I did not, um, it's a very pretty color. Um, green but I wanted I thought it was white on Amazon so I am just using a char a chalk marker guys and I am filling that in so if you do order this banner I will have it linked down below make sure you know that it does come in this green color the stem doesn't bother me that's a pretty color green it's like a light green color which is very pretty but if you want white or you think it looks white like I did um, you're gonna have to fill it in but love a little burlap banner and like I said this is gonna be my year of banners so I'll have to find something cute and fun for Christmas I have a summer one now I just got a fall one and I'll have to find like a cute one for Christmas and then the other like Easter and the other holidays but love this I've just been taking my little sweet time and coloring it in with a chalk marker to make it white. Picked up, I've had for a very long time this wax warmer. This one is from, I want to say Michaels, years and years ago. But I love it. It's like little pumpkins stacked on top of each other. Not sure um, where I'm going to use it this year. Maybe in the kitchen, maybe in the hall. But I needed to get some wax for it. That was season appropriate. So I picked up this fall flannel shirt um, wax from Aldi. It smells so good. And they had a few different scents, but I just really loved this one. So from Aldi, really, really good. And then here is another candle that I picked up. This one was from Home Goods. This year it was $7.99. Um, just really simple packaging. I think it's so pretty. Um, 
I, I feel like I'm covered. I have that big orange candle, this one. <laughs> and I have quite a few fall things. So for upstairs, we have a few of those like Glad plugins. And I saw this at um, Kroger. So I picked these up fall nights. They were kind, there wasn't a lot left. So I know that they're gonna, all these kind of scent things always go fast. And it smelled really good. Me and Brooklyn thought it smelled really good. So this will be what I'll have upstairs. I think in a home, like smell is so important. And it's not just like what you smell. It's what like your guests are going to smell when you come in. Because we become like nose blind to the smells in our home. But there's nothing like walking into a home that smells like just so good. Um, and then this one, I won't have all this stuff burnt together. I should say that too, because then it'll be too overpowering. But I have a lot of things to pick from, so, and should last me the whole fall season. This one is a little plug-in from Better Homes and Garden at Walmart. It's the Pecan Sweet Cream, and it's a little oil refill, and I thought this one was really good too. But guys, we made it. That's it. We made it. Um, that was such a big haul. And yes, I'm wearing like my cozy t-shirt. If I could get up with cutoff shorts because we live in Texas. It is warm here. And people say, oh, wait to do fall until it like gets cooler to the end of November. I miss Halloween. I miss everything. Apple picking season. So... I think when you live in a climate like ours, and I came from California as well, like when you live in these climates, you're gonna have to create your own fall magic. So that's why I love decorating. But I hope you guys, la if you lasted to the end of this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me down um, below a happy face emoji. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very soon with a whole new one. Bye guys.